today we are going to be making ornaments. These are so fun and beautiful. I can't wait to show you how amazing they turn out at the end of this video. But these are plastic round discs I found from Michaels. And we are first going to start off by just removing the top hangy section. You're just gonna give it a little pull and it will come right out. And then I have this ornament attachment for my turner from Cami Page Boutique. And I'm going to find the correct attachment that goes into the correct size of ornament. And I'm just gonna slam that in there. You saw just a second ago how well they hold. We don't need to tape the ornament to the holder, but we are taping it just to protect the top section of the ornament. Once you have that on, just give them a little buff to make sure that our next step, which we are painting, adheres really well. I am going to be making a green version and a red version. So I sanded both of my ornaments and now we are going to base coat them. You can use acrylic paint or spray paint, whatever you wish. I have a deep love for chalk paint. The adhesion is just way better along with the coverage. So to me, this is just what I love, but use whatever you are comfortable with. Base coat those really well with the color of your choice and set aside for them to dry. Now that those are all dry, mix up about 20 milliliters of epoxy, split it in two, and find two coordinating mica powders. This one is a beautiful deep green from Woody's Goodies. It's called Squirrel Days. And the red is from Simply Sarah Customs, and it is called January. We're just going to mix those in. And then we are going to put our ornaments on the ornament attachment and turn your turner on to make sure it's not hitting anything. Once you have done that, we are going to apply a layer, this layer of mica powder epoxy on top. And what I found was easiest was actually to just hold it in your hand. And then once you have the epoxy on, the Turner attachment has these little magnets that will snap on and you can just place it on your attachment. Don't forget to remove your tape while your epoxy is still wet. Once your epoxy has cured, we are going to be kind of drawing on a geode style kind of abstract lines here. And I'm just using a dry erase marker and I'm just angling the one line up and I'm being really loose with my wrist and just making these really jaggedy lines to connect the lines at the bottom. And then I will do the exact same thing on the top and continue on to the red one as well. Now we are going to mix up some glitter glue and some sort of chalk paint or acrylic, acrylic paint, whatever you prefer. I do about a mixture of 50-50. This just helps with the adhesion of glitter. The paint alone is just not an adhesive and your glitter will flake off a lot easier. So I just found the mixture really helps it and then you'll get less movement on your glitter when you apply your epoxy. Taking a paintbrush, I'm just kind of doing these kind of dabby strokes. I feel like it kind of keeps your hand and wrist 
really loose, which gives it more of an organic feel to the lines we, we created. And I'm just gonna go over the entire marker we, do, we drew on, and then we are going to sprinkle on a glitter of your choice. I chose Baby Rose, which is a really soft rose gold, and we're going to apply that while that glitter glue paint mixture is still wet. While our green ornament is drying, we're going to work on our red ornament. I did the exact same thing with some paint and some glitter glue, and then just following our marker line, dabbing that on there. And then this ornament, I went with more of a red and gold theme. So I grabbed one of my favorite Christmas golds called 24K Magic and sprinkled it on our paint and glue mixture while it's still wet. Now put your red ornament to the side to let that glitter glue dry and then pick your green ornament back up with a dry brush. We are just going to dry brush that excess glitter off and then we're going back to our glitter glue and paint mixture, kind of following the line that we created. I chose to leave a small gap of the mica powder epoxy and I'm going to be really loose with it and kind of follow the line we have but also leave it kind of messy. I think that imperfect look is what makes these so eye appealing in the end. And then take your second color of glitter. I went with Green Giant and sprinkle that on. Now go back to your red ornament, doing the same thing we did to the green one. I apply the lines, these little dabby lines, to the top and bottom in the same manner. And I am going to use the glitter color Red Glare for this line. Now we are going to go back to our green one. And this time, this little squiggly dabby line, I hugged right up next to where we placed that green giant glitter. And then I am going to apply the glitter color, all of you. I did the exact same thing on my red ornament, just hugging that last color, which was red glare. And then I'm going to apply this really beautiful deep red called Bad Apple. Sorry, the little antenna type things. <laughs> it look like there's like a bug crawling or whatever. That's my hair poking up. So I apologize for that, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Now for the top and bottom of your ornaments, I just went with the color I started with on both of them. So the green one was Baby Rose. This one will be 24K Magic. And I just kind of made that same kind of organic lines, but I filled in the bottom with kind of like an organic blob now. <laughs> and then I sprinkled on the glitter. Once your glitter glue is all dry, take these and use some sort of clear spray sealer to seal in that glitter really well. This will help it from not shifting all over your ornament and ruining your design. And then we are gonna take them back over and apply a layer of epoxy and place them on your ornament turner attachment. Now you are going to take some sort of metallic paint. I couldn't find one exactly in the color I had, so I very often make my own metallic paint with just some mica powder and some polycrylic. This one is, I wanna say it's Midas Gold from Simply Sarah's. I'm going to make a gold for my red ornament and then the other one I didn't show on film but I just had a bronzy looking 
mica powder and I mixed that one. We are going to make some geode lines and this step I really do prefer a brush over a marker pen. Um, sometimes the marker pen is way too thick for my liking and a little bit too perfect where the brush kind of gives you those natural thick and thick and thin strokes without it just being overly harsh with the lines. Just add these wherever you feel like. You can outline every little squiggle line or you cannot, or you can do whatever you would like. This is just up to your personal preference at this step. Once that paint is all dry, we are going to tape off the top section one more time, taking them back over to our turner, applying one more layer of epoxy and let those cure. And here are our ornaments all finished. I think these would just make a beautiful addition to anybody's tree. You could also add a name or a family name to customize them if you would like, but I think they are also just beautiful as is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and look for me on all other social media platforms.